guys this is maria welcome to my channel in today's video i will be talking about elimination diet and people have different reasons to be an elimination diet my reason uh is because i'm breastfeeding and my baby was allergic not allergic had a sensitivity to something in my breast milk to the point that she had the diarrhea for a few weeks so my doctor suggested to remove dairy then when it, after I removed dairy a few days later i removed nuts eggs um wheat and any kind of sort of gluten and uh in about five days from me removing all those things i would have noticed a big difference and an improvement when i first got on elimination diet it was hard for me to figure out what i can eat what i can snack on because you really have to read the labels especially in snacky foods because dairy and nuts and all those things can be hidden in there so uh generally speaking the groups that you can eat safely are coconut products seeds oatmeal like a gluten-free oats there is a, a wide variety of cereals that are based on oats and coconut um, and you also can eat protein most vegetables and most fruits that are not acidic all right let's look at what i eat in a day and i'll share with you some extra products and snacks that i love because i eliminated eggs i brought in the sweet potato toast i usually pre-boil my sweet potatoes the night before and then cut them up and in the morning i just put it in the air fryer another great addition to the breakfast toast is some mushrooms shiitake mushrooms are better for you than the portobello ones but today i'm using portobello also i use this lemon pepper seasoning that has nothing that i have eliminated and it makes my food taste way better so i just sprinkle a little bit of that and i cook everything on olive oil right now for extra fat again because i am breastfeeding i'm not trying to cut down on calories i'm actually trying to bring them back with everything that i can so i'm cutting some bacon and i will be doing avocado mash with bacon basically that's what it is it just has two ingredients and this is a very uh, fun way to get rid of the seed and avocado i don't know how do you guys uh, peel your avocados that's the way i do it i usually just scoop it out with a spoon then i mash it and add the bacon i prefer savory breakfast over sweet so the eggs were the biggest part that i had to eliminate during this diet and uh, i just get my sweet potato toast out of air fryer put some ham mushrooms on top and also spread my avocado mash with bacon it's a really tasty breakfast actually even if you're not elimination diet this would be a great breakfast option as well typically with my toast i also have a handful of berries typically it is blueberries or strawberries berries are quite amazing any kind of diet i've ever done i've always been able to have them they are add this extra sweetness and are full of antioxidants I replaced my decaf coffee with mother's milk tea with honey. I just can't drink coffee if I cannot put a real creamer in it. I would like to share these bars from Hungry Buddha. It is um, coconut, cocoa, or something like that. They're only 170 calories and they're really tasty. For lunch, I'm making chicken thighs in olive oil with my lemon pepper seasoning. Um, I really enjoy it. I noticed I have a trend. If I like something, I kind of put it in everything that I make. And on the side, I'm having some vegetables. Um, if you are an elimination diet that you have to eliminate, like broccoli, you can always replace it with something else. Um, my diet did not call for it, so I can still eat pretty much all of the greens. One of the most typical snacks for me are apples and nut butter. I cannot have nut butters anymore, so I replaced it with sunflower seeds butter. Uh, it's called sun butter. It is not nearly as tasty, but if you eat it with bananas and apples, you honestly can barely taste the difference. And uh, it is allergy safe, has lots of minerals and nutritionally it actually is even better than peanut butter i also drink bone broth uh, for healing the gut um, if you are on elimination diet because of your own food sensitivities i would definitely recommend adding it from this specific brand you can find it pretty much in any health store in a freezer section uh, for a snack i also enjoy this coco june yogurt honestly this is the tastiest yogurt i've ever had not exaggerating and i use my granola coconut spice uh, from bob's it is pretty tasty as well i enjoy that that's probably one of the additions that i was like oh even if i'm not on this diet i would enjoy eating this uh, mix it all up 
this specific yogurt comes also in plain version which i like equally as much as the vanilla one but it's not too sweet for dinner i typically do extra thick rolled oats that are gluten-free with pumpkin seeds and raisins and i also add bone broth protein from ancient nutrition you need to really check what you're buying because a lot of the proteins will have milk in it and that completes what i eat in a day on my elimination diet. even though it was not my goal i did end up losing a few extra pounds of weight just because every time we go out and kids get something or somebody else eats something i have to think about well it's how dare you not uh, soy or any other allergens so my options are much limited so I eat less uh that is positive um at the same time my diet i try to keep and intake as many calories as i can because again i'm still breastfeeding this little one uh elimination diet has been really successful for us she has not had any issues in uh the last uh almost almost a week or even more than that so it's uh it's worth it it is not easy uh but again it's not as I guess difficult or lifestyle changing, at least for me, it was not, even though I did eat quite a bit of dairy and um, eggs were the biggest one for me. If you wanna check out what uh, I've been eating prior to the hack, I filmed what I did in a day breastfeeding, a separate video. And also I will be filming like our story, like what led up to me uh, going on a medicine day. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like and subscribe to my channel.